cover in the level 1 of the training as well as in the level 2 of the training. What about the level 3? What about the level 3? You came here not to do as a work as Python developer, right? I want to do something more. That's where we are going for level 3 basic packages of data science process. As part of the data science process, as part of the data science process, you may need to go for, you may need to go for, for example, this is what the one thing I have here, what is this called as, here let us say 90 degrees angle is available. Then this is called as base value A is equal to 3, this is B is equal to 4 and C value I don't know. I want to find out the C value I have to find out now. What is the formula for that one? Root of A square plus B square C is equal to like that you can find out. Now this is called as Pythagoras theorem if I take the mathematics. If I take the mathematics it is called as Pythagoras theorem. Using that one I can calculate the answer will come as a 5. Same thing I want to do because I am a Python programmer right I can do using my own calculation I can apply it. I given a is equal to 3, b is equal to 4, c is equal to a into into mean square here, a square plus b square into into 0 0.5 means that is a root. Then what is the value we got for c? 5. What is this called as? Are you using, are you using predefined packages or you are doing your own uh, Python programming? Your own Python programming we are doing it. That is excellent always. If you are able to do your own programming, that is great. You have the very good skill set. But what as a manager I am losing is, I am losing the billing. I have the only one FD. I have only billing for only one person, one resource, one FD only I have it. But if you do your own programming, I need to get the two FDs or three FDs, I have to get it. Which is not possible. So I am looking for, do we have any function to do the same process? If I have that one, try to use that one. Now, we are trying to know about what are the functions we have it. What is this? L-I-N-A-L-G. That stands for Linear Algebra. In the Linear Algebra, one of the functions already available that is called as what? Norm. Then we provide the input as 3, 4. What you got the output? 5. This is one method. This is the method 2. Now you tell me, method 1 you love it or method 2 you love it? Method 1 you love it or method 2 you love it? Method 2. In the method 2, we are writing here built-in one we are using it. Built-in one we are using it. But what is the problem in the method 2 is whatever requirement I have it, that requirement corresponding package name is what? Module name is what? Function name is what? How to use that function? These are all things I am not aware of it. That's what we are going to concentrate in this level 3. What are the packages we have for the data science? In that packages, what are the modules are available? In that modules, what are the functions are available? The function syntax are what available, we are going to know about it. All these things are useful to do different types of calculations, we can do it. What is that? Different types of calculations, we can do it. Now, we are clear about that point. Any questions on that? One of the packages we are seeing is NumPy. Now second point here, let's say second package I have here that is called as Pandas. I have here one file, that file is known as Bricks is the one file is available. Some of the people may be aware of this Bricks. Bricks stands for, what is this? Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. The Bricks.csv is available. That file is available actually in my local mission it is available. If you open this folder, I said previously lab data, I said right, this is the lab data, this is the python. Inside this one, I have a file that is known as bricks file is available, bricks.csv. If you want, I can open this one, let us say open this one, edit with notepad++, plus plus. this is what the file, what I have. Now this is a comma separated values file. I have to import that one into the python, there is a predefined package is available, that predefined package I am going to take here. That package name is what? Pandas. 
in the pandas we have one of the function what is the function name read underscore csv is the function is it always your files are in the form of csv always your files are in the form of csv no that is the reason there are different functions also available here tomorrow your file may be excel then your file may be something else we have that corresponding function we are going to use it am i clear and once you use it whatever result we are going to get is that is called as data frame we are going to get it this is what the data frame what you are seeing data frame is equal to our regular table now tell me by seeing this data of the population which which country has more population which country has more population china right if i have 2000 records are available with me if i ask the same question if i have 200 uh, rows are available if i ask the same question is it uh, easy to tell it or it is tough to tell it tough to tell so for this i want now some kind of graphical format i want it the graphical format purpose we have here something matplotlib seaborn bokeh for the purpose of what data visualization the data visualization may be as simple as like this we are drawing one linear graph or it may be as complex as we are writing here sunflower plot easy to complex things anything possible using our python packages wow you did, you did great job someone provided some data set that may be available in any, any format it may be excel or oracle database or big data or mongo whatever it is that one we imported then we are doing here some kind of graph you are able to provide it that means you are analyzing the data right are you analyzing the data yes or no as you are analyzing can i call your role as data analyst now da data analyst now we know how to import the data into python how to do some kind of programming for the calculation purpose then we are looking for then we are looking for providing the same thing in a graphical format yeah right good question how many classes needed for the data analysis analysis program only for data analysis program we are going for 15 days of the classes we are going previously whatever we have the level one and level two that is basics of the python and advanced python we are able to complete five plus five ten days we are going to take it okay only till here we are spending only 25 days time only we are spending it okay good question sir good question now let us move on to the next one that is called as machine learning first try to observe till here i will give two minutes of time please observe it <laughs> 